Yeah, Lauren, I wanted to dive in on, on Kyle Lewis. Georgia boy, this is a slow burn, too. This is a guy who went to a small school, Mercer, and kind of the story I want to tell is shows up his freshman year at Mercer, plays 17 games, hits in the high 200s. You don't totally know what you have, and then he goes to Cape Cod. Cape Cod, for anyone out there, baseball-wise, is the collegiate summer league, wood bat league that, like, kind of puts you on the map. So he goes out there after his freshman year and dominates. And what does he do when he gets in his car driving out of Cape Cod? If this is the best players in the world, man, then I stack up against them. Went back to Mercer, sophomore and junior year, and lit the world on fire. And the Mariners picked him with the 11th overall pick in 2016. I just wanted to dive into him because I just like what I'm seeing out there in Seattle. He does a lot of things well. And he has got a chance to put a team on his back. He showed up last year late and struggled a little bit in double A last year. His numbers weren't great. 263 with 11 homers, but then came up September 10th, 2019 last year and hit a couple bombs. Jumped on Lucas Sims, 94 right there. And what does he do? Opening day against Justin Verlander in Minute Maid, 95 and a 1-0 count and hits an absolute tank. And then next day against Lance McCullers Jr. at 1-0 count, he takes a slider cutter type pitch and goes opposite field. So I wanted to compare, pause this, rack that back to right at the beginning. There we go. That's what I need. Check this out. Somebody has decided to clean certain things up. A little bit more crouched right there. And then right here standing a little taller. You see, for me, I always feel that guys should be tall chested. I know Joey Votto likes to sink in there and that works for him. But if you're going to let your swing play for you and be super athletic, I like guys who use this kind of ability to stay tall, keep their chest tall. And then if you want to go down, which we're going to get into, you want to get into that crouch. You got to understand something. If you're going to go there, you can't have your head going up and down. So check this out. This is last year. He was really crouched low and then he shows up this year and is standing a little taller. Now, once the swing starts, he gets right to his old school 2019 run this. There he goes, and he's back in it, sets the tone. One thing I want to say, if you're going to start tall, you can't be in a position, what I talk about, you can't be in a position here where you start tall, dig down here, and then as you swing, you're coming back up. The ball's going to move on you. Your eye level's going to move on you. You want to keep your head on the same plane. So if you're going to start tall here, as soon as you sink down, your head better stay on this plane. That's the line right there. So watch him. He's doing a great job of that. Run this. Love the fact that a lot of these guys are starting to choke up. You're seeing Joey Gallo, Christian Yelich. He's the guy I thought of when I saw Kyle Lewis because he's the guy who starts tall, sinks down, and stays there. Truly stays there. So. Special things out of this kid when I think of him and watch him watch his swing at night. You know, you try and play the comp game. Eric Davis. What? Dylan, 1987, 37 bombs, 50 stolen bases. Man, if he could put up ED's uh, career, it'd be pretty special. But I just like the late bloom aspect of Kyle Lewis. I like the fact that he, even though he struggled a little bit in the minor leagues, as soon as he came up in 2019, You'd be shocked. Some of these superstar type players do better in the big leagues than they do in the minor leagues. They're able to game plan a little bit better. Guys are around the strike zone a little bit more. So he's been impressive.